Hi folks, Puffin here with your Antifa News Brief for November 23rd, 2021. Investigate the FBI edition. A uh, continuation of previous Investigate the FBI that I've been talking about here, but there's new news as of yesterday. A judge awarded, uh, ruled against the FBI in favor of the families of the victims of the Parkland school mass shooting. And the judge found that the FBI was guilty of not following up on leads that that person was going to shoot up a school. Um, they had plenty of you know, leads and information. They didn't do anything to stop it, apparently, or didn't do enough to stop it. And the judge found that the FBI was in the wrong in this case and awarded the families a settlement, first of all, saying that they were, that yes, the FBI was wrong. And also, I think, awarding them, according to the NPR, maybe around $180 million. Now, no amount of money is enough. Bankrupt the FBI, bankrupt these fascist organizations. What it brings to mind for me is that the only time you ever hear about the FBI, really, is when someone, a presumed terrorist, an alleged terrorist, is arrested for, like, buying bombs from the FBI, you know, buying, you know, trying to do some type of terrorist act that they were coordinating with someone who turns out to be an FBI agent. So what does that mean? The FBI does a lot of entrapment. The FBI does a lot of terrorist work with terrorists and sometimes catches them. And maybe sometimes it doesn't. And maybe they, they knew the same things about the Parkland shooter that they've known about other terrorists. Those other terrorists will try to sell them some bomb material and when the person tries to buy the bomb material, they arrest them. They didn't do that to the Parkland shooter. But is that because the FBI is preventing terrorism? Are they investigating terrorism? Or are they instigating terrorism? That vest part makes a big difference. So without that, if they're instigating terrorism, if the FBI is actually just coordinating terrorism, if they're like, okay, we're going to set these terrorists up and then let them go. We're going to set these terrorists up and, and, you know, press the start button. It doesn't have to be some MK Ultra thing. It could be. They could be doing some type of MK Ultra thing as well. They could be mind controlling certain people. But without getting into all that type of conspiratorial or, you know, people don't necessarily believe that type of stuff, any idiots organized with this purpose could, you know, organize and coordinate with terrorists, entrap them, assist them, and then either let them go, let them do their terrorist acts, or hold them back, depending on their choice. And when I say any idiot organization, I'm reminded of the guy who's recently writing a book about being in the gun lobby and then being against the gun lobby and how it was just a bunch of idiots who coordinated all the amassing of fascist energy in America to be all about guns. Um, and you can see, tell they did it or read his book or whatever. But it's the same thing. A group of idiots, this time FBI idiots, are maybe co-opted by uh, the KKK or white supremacists or the KGB in this case. They may be acting as Trump's, you know, secret hit squad. And speaking of a secret hit squad, I'm not saying that the CIA is any better than the FBI. Maybe the CIA needs to be investigated as well. Maybe they're doing the exact same thing. Or maybe they're doing the same thing, you know, with slight differences. Or maybe they're not doing the same thing. But the context of all this in investigating the FBI, the last time I was talking about investigating the FBI, was because there is a hit list of CIA agents that somebody sent to the CIA saying, hey, this is a list of all your agents and informants that we know and will be being murdered in coming weeks and months. And it barely made the news. The CIA mentioned it. I mean, it became public, but it barely made the news. And I wondered, well, who would be doing this? A foreign government, possibly. You know, they might try to blame a foreign government, or although if such was the case, they would probably already tell you you wouldn't be trying to start a war. A foreign government, some type of strange international, unknown strange international terrorist organization. The FBI. I mean, it could be the FBI. It could be another unknown international terrorist organization, or it could be the FBI is doing a hit list on the CIA. Just, just, just a possibility. But if that's a possibility, isn't it worth investigating? Or if it's possible that as Representative Gohmert, a Republican representative, said the FBI had a lot of plants and agents in the January 6th Trump surrection, including possibly Jaden X, John Sullivan, whose dad I think was a retired Air Force, uh, retired, I heard, for selling nuclear fuses to Taiwan, 
um, meaning forced to retire, Air Force person Kevin J. Sullivan, and whose brother, we know for a fact, James Sullivan, is on the Alex Jones show and coordinating with Alex Jones, who is now being subpoenaed by Congress as a coordinator of the January 6th Trump surrection. So, just to be clear, Gomert, a Republican representative, has said that Jaden X and some others are FBI agents. Now, on the other hand, and Gomert's a Trumper, on the other hand, Rudy Giuliani, who's also a Trumper, has said that Jaden X is Antifa. I know for a fact Jaden X is not Antifa because I've talked to Jaden X. I asked him, show us, tell us which FBI agents contacted you, and he almost did before he blocked me from talking on his channel. But Rudy Giuliani is calling him Antifa, knowing that's a lie because they're both Trumpers. Maybe they heard of having a relationship. Maybe Jaden X and Rudy Giuliani are boyfriend and girlfriend, or boyfriend and boyfriend, whatever. I, I don't know what they are, but I have a suspicion about that. Gomer is calling him or outing him as an FBI agent. Now, if he's outing him as an FBI agent, isn't that the same thing they did to Valerie Plame? They got somebody arrested, so you could arrest Gomert for outing FBI agents. But more importantly, if FBI agents are organizing and orchestrating and filming, streaming, the because uh, Jaden X filmed the Trump surrection, he was the one that said, go, go, go to Ashley Babbitt and got her shot. But he's walking around free, still streaming on YouTube today, January, I mean, September 23rd. Yeah. Seven, eight months later. So what is that? Ten months later. Uh, November 23rd. Uh, he's still streaming today out free. Is it because he's FBI? Well, should some of these FBI agents be in jail for their part in the Trump surrection? Or should they be in jail for their part in the attempted Trump overthrow, the continued Trump surrection? Because they're letting some people go, as we found out in Parkland. They're letting what appear to be just the white supremacist terrorists go do their thing. So is the FBI just co-opted by the KKK, which is now in league with the KGB, like Trump put that merger together between the KKK and KGB, since he's a puppet of Putin? We need to look into it. And we need to look into the CIA too, but maybe the CIA should look into the FBI, or somebody should look into both of them. Or since any group of idiots can coordinate and work together and change the world like the NRA did, maybe we should make a shadow FBI or a a light FBI instead of a shadow FBI, whatever you want to call it, a transparent FBI, a we're doing it in the open, we're investigating them on in this, well, can't do it in a Facebook group because Facebook is Nazi. You need to arrest Dr. Zuckerberg. That's getting into some other issues. We do need to openly expose these people. We can do it with a secret organization or we can do it with a public organization. But the post office, whoever, somebody needs to investigate the FBI and find out what's really going on there. We just found out they let a terrorist shoot up that school and now they had to pay $180 million for it. But that shouldn't be the full cost. The full cost should be who's guilty, who's responsible, who's helping the Trump terrorists get them out of there, get them into jail or re-education camps or whatever. But we have to end this Trumpy evil or the trump evil is the coin, the term, term I've coined for them, trump because they're mutineers. They've mutinied against our country and our values. And they're Trumpy and they're Putin. And that's what they are. So thanks for watching and sharing. And let's investigate the FBI and see what's really going on here. No one should be above the law, including presidents, uh, Supreme Court justices, senators, agents, any of them. And once we start arresting some of them, then we can get some real, real America in here. Get America back to what it's supposed to be. A real land of the free with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for watching. See you soon.